<laughs> I bet I know who these belong to. The High Commissioner. <laughs> he gets bigger by the week. Too much food and not enough to do. <laughs> oh, hello. I didn't know he played golf. Look, <laughs> a hole in one. <laughs> And it's on the back side of the green. <laughs> oh, Zach and Zeke. Oh, not more work for me. I'm up to my elbows in hot water as it is. Sorry, Mrs. Wishy Washy. We just do as we're told. And that was to bring you this basket for washing. Yes, well, if it was just the basket to clean, that would be fine. It's what's in it that's, that, that's the problem. Ha, ha, ha. Very funny, Mrs. Wishy Washy. I just saw your son Aladdin running through the gardens. He seemed in an awful hurry. Don't talk to me about that lazy, no good son of mine. Uh, I, I, I don't know what I've done to deserve such a lazy layabout whose middle name is Trouble. It is? I didn't even know he had a middle name. Because I thought he was just Aladdin. Fancy that. Don't you two have anything better to do than standing around interrupting my work? Actually, Mrs. Wishiwashi, we were off to the market to buy a tin of blue and white striped paint. A, a tin of striped paint? The High Commissioner wants us to paint his bedroom in blue and white stripes. Oh, and what else did he ask you to get? Um, a a left-handed paintbrush? No, but he asked us to get a left-handed screwdriver. Well, of course he did. Well, look, hop off to the market. I, I suspect you're going to be there for quite some time. Goodbye, Mrs. Wishy-Washy. See, see you later. You later. <laughs> Not if I see you first. Oh, those poor boys. I swear they don't have a, a brain cell between them. <laughs> Still, they do give me a laugh with their antics. Uh, and, and, and heaven knows those are few and far between. Oh, life has been so hard since my husband was lost at sea eight years ago. Now it's just hard work and washing every day. All I've ever done in life is clean and scrub Doing dirty washing in this washing tub From early in the morning till late at night Trying to get the clothes all clean and bright By the end of the day I'm not worth two bob Wish I could find a way to ditch this job if only I had a washing machine, I could pile in the clothes, imagine the scene. Push the button, set and forget, run the spin, dry, wouldn't even get wet. But all I need is someone to invent it. If I couldn't afford it, I would happily rent it. Oh, washing machine, washing machine, washing, 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 washing machine, washing machine, washing machine, washing, 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 washing machine. I'm just dreaming I should face the facts I don't think I'll ever find time to relax When the washing's done, there's the floor to do And then, of course, I got to clean the loo Washer women should form an alliance And for every job, there should be an appliance if only I had a vacuum cleaner Call me a fool, call me a dreamer It would suck up the dirt, suck up the dust Stainless steel inside so it wouldn't rust When it comes to cleaning toilets you can't rush it But wouldn't it be nice if you simply could flush it? Vacuum cleaner, flushing loo, diddly die, diddly do, nice clean floor to throne fit for a king. It's all very nice except for one small thing. Yes, just one small thing. They won't be invented for a couple of hundred years, till I can dream, can't I? 
Washing machine, washing machine, washing, 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 washing machine. Vacuum cleaner, flashing blue. Diddly die, diddly do. A microwave, a color TV. One for you and one for me. Cook the dinner, watch a show. The washing's all done, it's the way to go. Oh, washing machine, washing machine. Washing, 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 sing it with me. Washing machine, washing machine, washing, 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 one more time. And washing machine, washing machine, washing, 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 washing machine. Oh, thank you very much. But woe is me. If only, if only. Only I had a washing machine. Hi, Ma. I've just heard some wonderful news. Princess Tasman is coming home. I can't wait to see her again. It's been like ten years since we played hide-and-seek in and around the palace. Don't you go getting any big ideas. She's a young lady now, and she won't be interested in a poor boy like you. Princess Tasman never cared that we were poor when I was young. Why should she care now? Because her father will, is only interested in marrying her off to the highest bidder. You know all he cares about is being the richest sultan in Baghdad. No, you must forget about Princess Tasman. Find yourself a job and be grateful for the, for the life that you have. If I have to be rich to see Princess Tasman again, then that's what I'll do. Oh. I'll earn my fortune. Just think, Ma. You will have a life of ease, and I will have the wife that I've always wished for, Tasman. When I put my hair down at night and start to dream, thoughts and images fill my head. It's hard to know which is what they mean. Then a face appears before me, and I take her by the hand. There's something supernatural. Makes me understand that she is the one for me. I won't need to make her see. She'll know in her heart it was always meant to be. Yeah, she is the one for me. It's only in my dream. I'm looking forward to the day my dream comes true. When I wake from sleeping, the dream seems so unreal. And then those doubts start creeping in. How can I tell her how I feel? Well, it all comes down to moments. There'll be a time and place. And when that moment happens, I'll tell her to her face that she's the one for me. I won't need to make her see She'll know in her heart It was always meant to be Yeah, she's the one for me But it's only in my dream I'm looking forward to The day when my dream comes true That's all very well, but dreams don't often come true. Uh, in my experience, they, they rarely come true at all. Uh, so uh, I'm afraid that's the, it's bad luck. I just know that things are going to be better for us soon, Ma. Just oh. think, no more washing for you and the girl of my dreams for me. Oh, um, and, and uh, look, unfortunately, we, we, we don't have enough to eat, Aladdin, so why don't you... Pop off to the market and, and see if you can buy something for dinner. All right, Ma, I'll be back before you can say abracadabra. Oh, good. Everybody, it's Princess Tasman. She's home. She's home. Make way, make way, move aside for her.
Her Royal Highness Princess Tasman. Oh, thank you, everyone. It's so great to be home again. I've missed it so much. I've been away on the road overseas, from the North Atlantic to the Antipodes. Seen London and Paris, New York and Rome, but now I'm all done. It's just great to be home. It's great to be home, where things are just fine, to finally be back in this birthplace of mine. Where nothing seems changed since I went away, it's great to be home, that's all I can say. I rode a pink pony whose name was Jerome, but now I'm all done. It's just great to be home. It's great to be home. Now my journey is done. Put my feet up and see what's to come. Where nothing seems changed since I went away. It's great to be home. That's all I can say. It's great to be home. It's great to be home. It's great to be home again. Great to be home. It's great. Like meeting a long lost friend. Like meeting a long lost friend. It's great to be home again. Tusman! Tusman! Come any closer and you'll end up in the Sultan's dungeon. Where he will leave you to rot at his pleasure. <laughs> but the princess and I are friends. We played together as children. That was then and this is now. No one gets near the princess without the Sultan's permission. Looking at you, that won't be happening anytime soon. Now stand back or you might just end up trampled under our feet. Oh, I'm so sorry, Aladdin, but I must obey my father. It's just not meant to be. Goodbye. Goodbye. I have to do something to earn the Tasman's hand in marriage. What I need to do is to find a way to make a fortune, but how? Ah, Aladdin, oh, what's the matter? You look like you've got all the cares of the world on your shoulders. Princess Tasman has just arrived home. But that's good, isn't it? I, I thought you were counting the hours until she came back home again. That's just the point. All I could do was look at her and the palace guards wouldn't let me get near to her or talk to her. It seems she's to be locked away until a rich husband is found to marry her. Make that a very rich husband. In fact, it will be the highest bidder who gets a hand in marriage. I, I did warn you, uh, I, now that she's a young lady, um, it, it's just not going to happen, unfortunately. Uh, uh, so, I'm afraid you'll just have to put up with it. I know, but I did think that we'd at least find a way to talk to one another. Gosh, Ma, why are the glad rags? Oh. Are you going to bingo tonight? No, and I, I happen to be going on a date. A date? <laughs> what do you mean? Who is he and how did you meet him? Well, I answered an ad in, in the Baghdad Weekly. <laughs> I, I, I've given up hope after all these years of your father ever returning. So, well, I need a new man in my life. After all, I'm, I'm still in my prime. And it's time to move on. I still have a lot to offer a new partner. Oh, I'll, I'll read the ad for you. <clears throat> Businessman uh, seeks a mature woman with a son uh, for uh, friendship and outings. Uh, must be NS, ND uh, for PR. And before you ask, uh, NS is non-smoker, ND is non-drinker, and PR stands for permanent relationship. <laughs> well, 
I hope I at least get to look over him before you go off with a total stranger. Well, now's your chance. That'll be him at the door now. Go and answer it, Aladdin. Don't keep him waiting on the doorstep. Good evening, young man. Is this the home of a Mrs. Wishy Washy? Yes, it is. And you must be Mars' date for the evening. And that is correct. May I introduce myself? I am Zachariah Abenezer, businessman and collector. Come in. Mars waiting for you. How do you do? I'm sorry, there must be some mistake. I'm here to meet a Mrs. Wishy Washy. Are you her daughter? <laughs> No mistake, no. I am Mrs. Wishy Washy. But you are far too young to be a mother. And can this fine young man, strapping young man, really be your son? I had a ladder when I was quite young. Oh, a child bride. <laughs> well, shall we go? Oh. I am sure we have a lot to talk about. And don't worry, Aladdin, I'll take good care of your mother. Oh, I never worry about Ma. I've seen her right hook and felt it. Yes, well, I'm sure it won't come to that. Come along, dear. I'm going to show you a fine dining, the best in Baghdad. Oh, Kentucky Fried. Oh, better than that, Baghdad Burgers. You'll fancy that. Ma getting a boyfriend. Well, if it makes her happy, good luck to her. I wish I could be as lucky. Get to see Princess Tasman and tell her how much I've missed her. Where is my daughter? I sent for her ten minutes ago. She should be here by now. I'm sure she is on her way, O oh exalted one. Shall we have some entertainment while we wait? waiting, Father, but I had to wash the dust away after my long journey home. Yes, yes, of course, my dear, but I've been so anxious to see you after such a long time. And I you, Father. Oh, you were looking well and haven't changed a bit. Oh, I wish that were true, my dear, but I fear I've put on a few inches while you've been away. <laughs> but you, look at you, you left a child and have returned a young lady, a beautiful young lady, who looks just like her mother. Oh, thank you, Father. But I have seen Mother's portrait, and I don't think I could ever be as beautiful as she was. She was indeed a beauty with the long black hair and big brown eyes. But you are beautiful in your own way. I still remember when I met her. And it's got me thinking about your marriage. My marriage, Father? But I've only just returned home. 
While you've been away, I've given a lot of thought to your future, and I will only give your hand in marriage to one who can give you a rich and comfortable life. But what about love, Father? Why can't I marry a man of my choice, one who loves me as much as I love him? Love, love only brings heartache in the long run. It can be snatched away from you when you least expect it just as it was taken from us when your mother died. But at least you had that love and will always be able to remember the love you shared together. It's no good talking about love. Gold is what I will have for you, the security of wealth. But I may not like him. He could be old or even ugly. I want to marry for love, not riches. Listen, my girl, heed my advice. It's money you need most. Love is just nice. There's no good devotion. You don't devote yourself to trapping your dreams. What you need is a man of means. I mean, what's the use of a love so sweet if you're out of cash and you're out on the street and you've got five kids that you can't feed? Love is nice. But it's money you need, money you need, money you need. Now, Simon of Syria is wealthy and superior, and I know he has his eye on you. He owns vast tracts of land and has cash at hand. And last week he turned 52. Okay, he weighs half a ton. But I'm told he's good fun, and he's worth his weight in gold. See now, he's a good catch, a perfect match. You should accept him to have and hold. How would I get my arms around him? This is serious, lass. Let me say it twice. It's money that matters most. Love is just nice. There's a future ahead, and it's not a romance. What you need is ongoing finance. It's all very well to love, better or worse. But what's the point of an empty purse? And working for wages is a loser's plan. What you need is a self-made man. A self-made man. Yes, a self-made man. Now, Ian of Iraq is quite a bright spark. When he came last, he gave you a wink. He lives a life of ease, and he speaks Portuguese. So tell me now, what do you think? Well, there's Leonard of Spain who lives in the fast lane and has guaranteed income for life. Okay, he's not free. But soon he will be when he divorces his 23rd wife. So I'd be number 24. It's your choice, of course. But let me gently endorse that every choice has its price. Your cost of love is substantial. If your man's not financial, you'll find love is not so nice. Not so nice. Not so nice. Not so nice. Oh, you make me sound like an object for sale. Don't you want me to be happy like you were with mother? Happy? What's that got to do with marriage? Better to be unhappy and rich than happy and poor. I want to marry a man I love, not some fat old man with nothing but wealth to give me. Quiet. I've made my decision, and that's the end of it. Now go to your room and wait till I send for you next. Oh! We must start the search for a rich husband for my daughter. I shall send out the runners to find a suitable partner. I'm sure that very soon... Suitors will be knocking on the palace gates with gifts, and my treasure chest will be overflowing with gold and jewels. I am sure you are right, O oh exalted one. But I am sad that my own son will no longer be a suitor for a hand in marriage, as I had hoped for. 
what will be, will be. Life has changed since meeting Zachariah. He has been so good to Aladdin and me, making sure we have a little extra in our lives. Ah. Oh. He has even said... Hi, Mark. Oh. It's, see, it's good to see you looking so well. Oh, thank you. Indeed it is, my dear. And if I can get Aladdin a well-paying job, Things will be even better for you. Oh, that's wonderful. Um, what did you have in mind? Well, as you know, I'm a rather avid collector of unusual antiques, and I need Aladdin's help to find a very rare item, one that I've been looking for for a very long time. I'm sure Aladdin will be only too happy to help you out in any way that he can. Won't you, son? Ow! Ow! Yes, yes, I will. Wonderful news. Aladdin, here's some money. Head down to the market and buy us a dozen shish kebabs for our dinner. Ooh. All right, I'll be back before you can say abracadabra. Now, I don't want you to worry about Aladdin. I have great plans for him. Oh, thank you. But I don't think it will be easy for you to make him stick to a nine to five work day. Just leave it to me. I'm sure when he sees what money can get you in this life, Things will change his mind. How much further? We must have walked miles since we left home. Quiet, boy! Stop your moaning. You'll find out that anything good in this world has a price to pay. Besides, we've arrived at our destination. What are you talking about? There's nothing here but mountains, rocks and scrub. Be quiet and watch. Open Sesame! There. See that tiny entrance? You will squeeze through that. I will wait for here. Through that entrance, you will find a passageway. It will lead to a door and a ladder. Climb down and enter the room beyond where you'll find riches beyond your wildest imagination. You can take anything you want, but there's an oil lamp on a pedestal at the end of the room. Bring me that, but you, you may have whatever your heart desires. I can have anything. Yes, anything, but bring me that oil lamp. All right, I'll do it. But why do you want an old oil lamp? Uh, well, the oil lamp once belonged to my dear, dead, departed brother. It's great sentimental value to me. Now go! Do as I say! All right, all right. Keep your hair on. I'm going. <sighs> Shazam! There, the annoying little beggar's locked in. <laughs> Crown? <laughs> nah, we would ever wear it. Now, here is something for me. This fine ring. And would you believe it fits perfectly? Aladdin! Aladdin, what's taking you so long? Fetch me the oil lamp, you naughty boy. 
Bring it to me at once or I'll lock you in there, never to be seen again. All right, all right, I'm coming. Don't lock me in. Zachariah, I, I, I seem to be locked in. Oh dear, he seems to be locked in. So, boys and girls, should I open it? Or should I leave him locked in there? Open? Closed? Let me see. Open, set. The entrance is only open to tiny bit. I, I, I can't pass through. I know. Pass me the lamp and I'll complete the chant and let you out. No, no, I will give you the lamp as soon as I am out of this cave. <sighs> Wicked boy, pass me the lamp. Just help me out and the lamp is yours. Oh, the lamp boy. Oh, I knew I couldn't trust him. A curse on you, Aladdin. Think about that as you rot in the cave, never to be seen again. You're no businessman. You're a sorcerer. I should have known you were too good to be true. <sighs> The opening is closed, and, uh, and now I'm locked in, in the dark. I, I'm, I'm scared of the dark, and, and, and spiders, and, and, and bats, and mice, and I'm so afraid. What if I never get home again? What will happen to Ma? What lies will Zachariah tell her? If I do get home, I, I promise to change my ways, to get a job and look after Mars as I should. Cross my heart. When the chips are down and there's a fight to be fought, when there's a villain to be vanquished or a crook to be caught, well, you know I'll fight and reduce him to zero with a swash in my bottle. I'm that kind of hero. But here in this dark, here in this cave, I have to admit it's hard to Creatures all legs and wings Attack in the dark with their bites and stings Spiders and bats and mice that crawl They're the things that scare me most of all Most of all Most of all Now, I could take on a rhinoceros Lions, tigers or even a hippopotamus here in the dark, a, a bat might flap or a spider descend and lands in my lap or a, a mouse can get into my pants and bite me on my bottom misses. Ah! Well, I suppose everybody has their fears and dreads. It all depends what goes on in their heads And as brave as I am in the face of a foe Even heroes aren't perfect, it's a good thing to know But as scared as I am, I'm telling you No matter what, I'm sure I'll get through I've seen the little creatures all legs and wings Attack in the dark with their bites and stings Spiders have bats and mice that crawl They're the things that scare me most of all Most of all Most of all Most of all Spiders and bats and mice that crawl Now get me out of this game! So cold, I I need to keep moving to get warm. What is your wish, O oh Master? Who are you? I am the genie of the ring. You have summoned me, so I've come to grant you your wish. In that case, I wish to get out of here and return home at once. As you wish, Master. Thank goodness I am almost home again. I must hurry up and get home before it gets dark. Ma! 
I'm, I'm home. Aladdin, where have you been? You've been missing two days. Uh, and, and where's Zachariah? Uh, did he not come back with you? No, Ma. He, he isn't who he thought he was. He tried to kill me by locking me in a dark cave. In fact, he's a wicked sorcerer, and I hope we never see him again. A sorcerer? My goodness. In that case, good riddance. We don't want his type around here. Gosh, I'm so hungry and tired after that long walk back. Oh, oh son, sit down. Uh, I I'll see if I can find something for you to eat. Uh, I usually have a couple of apples or something. Oh, there we go. Uh, right, now, I want to hear everything, so start right from the beginning. Tell me all about it. Well, first of all, we walked for miles. Then the genie whisked me out of the cave and I ran all the way home. Oh, I always thought he was a bit strange. I never liked him. I, I was beginning to have doubts about him myself. <laughs> oh, oh, son, you look tired. Why don't you have a little rest? Um, I I'll get on with the washing. There there's so much to do that. The pile never seems to get any smaller. Gosh, Ma, I'm really hungry. Oh. Oh. What is there to eat? Oh, son, I'm sorry. Uh, there's nothing left in the house to eat. And, well, I don't get paid until tomorrow. I know. We'll sell this old oil lamp I got from the cave. Then we can buy all the food that we need. Oh, oh it's not very clean. Um, it would, you'd get a better price for it if it was bright and shiny. Here, give it, give it a, a rub with this. Oh, oh he, 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 is this your genie, Aladdin? Then make him go away, he frightens me. No, oh. no, this is not the genie of the ring. This is another one. Oh. Who are you? I am the genie of the lamp. Whatever you desire, I will grant. What is your wish, O oh Master? In that case, I wish you to bring us some food at once. At once, Master. Look, all the food that we can eat. Yes, and there's so much food. <laughs> oh, I, I'm beginning to think I, I am dreaming and I'll wake up at any moment. Oh, please, come on, let's tuck in before it gets cold. <sighs> oh, I've, I've eaten so much. I, 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 oh, dear. I, I, and it looks like we've hardly touched a thing. Oh, after all that food, all I want to do is sleep. Oh, good idea, Aladdin, and it is getting late after all. Uh, I think it's both time we were both in bed, so I'm off. Um, well, uh, off you go, Aladdin, sleep well. Night, Ma, I'm for bed too. <laughs> I can't believe I've eaten some of the finest food ever made. Uh, but now there's only a tiny little bit left, Aladdin. I'm afraid we shall have to go to the market and buy some more food. I know. I'll take this gold dish down to the market and sell it. Oh, what then a good we idea. we can buy all the food that we need. Yes, it's not very big, but it'll do. Away you go. Right, Ma. I'll be back before you can say abracadabra. Uh -huh. 
Ah, oh dear. I hope he's clever and gets a good price for it. Unfortunately, he's not very bright when it comes to wheeling and dealing. So I hope he finds an honest dealer. Hi, good morning. I, I wish to sell this dish. What can you give me for it, please? Well, let's have a look at it. Hmm, this style is not very fashionable, but you seem like a nice young lad, so I'll give you, let's say, five dinners, and that is being more than generous. Here, boy, let me have a look at that dish before you sell it. Ah, just as I thought. A very fine dish. What did she offer you? Five dinars. Honest as Ha! It's worth at least 80 dinars. I'll give you that here, right here and now. 20, 40, 60, 80. That woman tried to cheat you, my lad. Hey, that's not fair. You can't just take my customer like that. I saw it first. What's not fair is you trying to cheat this young lad. Try that again and I'll set the dark guards on you. Now, young man, do you have any more of these uh, fine gold dishes? I have five more, all bigger than this one. You do indeed? How wonderful! Well, if you ever want to sell them, I will give you a good price for each of them. Now, is there anything else I might be interested in? Well, I do have rather a lot of pretty stones, but I, I don't think they're worth anything. Stones, you say? Do you have any on you now? Only this pretty red one. Here, you can see it's only a pretty stone. Oh, my dear boy, this is an uncut ruby. It's worth a fortune. Whatever you do, don't lose it. If all the rest of your stones are like this, you are indeed a very rich young man. I am? <laughs> wow. Maybe I'll finally be rich enough to ask for Princess Tasman's hand in marriage. Good luck, young man. I hope to see more of you over the next few months. Oh, you will, and you can count on it. Now, what shall I wear today? The pearls? No. Ah, uh, maybe the, the emeralds. Oh, ho, ho. Oh, to think, not so long ago, my day meant having to decide whether or not to wash the whites or the colours first. <laughs> but now all that has changed since we became rich. You wish me to get you something, mistress? Oh, yes. Um, I fancy a cup of pomegranate tea, please, Suli. Oh, and uh, did you have, you have you seen Aladdin this morning? I saw him in the gardens just a few minutes ago. Do you wish me to send him to you, mistress? Yes, please, Suli. I think I may have come up with a plan for him to marry Princess Tasmin. How splendid. Right away, mistress. Ah, uh, the poor boy. He's still mooning over Princess Tasman, but I think things are about to change. Good morning, Ma. You wish to see me? Yes, Aladdin. Now, look, I think I may have come up with a way for you to plead your case for Princess Tasman's hand in marriage. Quick, tell me what you have in mind. I will do anything to see her again. I'm so worried she'll get married off to someone who will be unkind to her. Your tea, miss. Your tea, mistress. Ah, uh, thank you, Suli. Uh, would you like some tea, Aladdin? How can you talk about tea when I want to know how I can marry Princess Tasman? Come on, Ma. What is your plan? What have you cooked up? Very well. <clears throat> I shall tell you. Um, I will take some of the jewels you found in the cave and offer them to the Sultan and ask him for Tasman's hand in marriage on your behalf. That's great. When he sees the jewels, he won't be able to resist. I shall go and see him first thing in the morning. <laughs> She's the one for me, I won't need 
to make her see She know with her heart It was always meant to be Yeah, she's the one for me No longer just a dream I'm looking forward to The day my dream comes true There is only one more person waiting to see your majesty. Shall I have her come back tomorrow? No, I feel she has waited long enough. It would be unjust to send her away now. Very well, your majesty. Approach, woman. State your business. Your majesty, I come with a request. Speak up, woman. I come on behalf of my son Aladdin, most noble one. He wishes to marry your daughter, Tyre. Your Majesty, her wretch of a son should be flogged for his impudence. And may I remind you, sire, that I'd hoped that my son Abdullah would have that honour. Madam, what is in that dish you are holding? Is that a gift for me? It is a small token from my son to you, sire. Look at these, Grand Vizier. Have you ever seen such fine jewels? Never, Your Majesty. But why not see if she has any more as fine as these? Have her bring six dishes in gold, filled with jewels. See if she can deliver. Good idea. Madam, tell your son if he can bring six more gold dishes filled with jewels. He may marry my beloved daughter, Tasman. Oh, thank you, Your Majesty. <laughs> I shall tell him at once. <laughs> oh, this has been a very interesting morning. I can't wait to see what she brings tomorrow. Your Majesty, Aladdin has come with six slave girls bearing gifts for you. Majesty, I bring these gifts as dowry for the hand of your beautiful daughter, Princess Tasman. I hope they please you, sire. You have indeed delivered what I asked. In fact, I have never seen such fine jewels. Have you, Grand Vizier? Never, Your Majesty. But what do we know of his background? Where will the princess live? What do you say to that, Aladdin? Where will you live with my daughter? I will build her a palace to live in. The most splendid palace anybody has ever seen. If, if you can do that, then the princess is yours with my blessing. I will have it built by the end of the week. A palace? One week? You will never be able to do that. Oh, yes, he will. Our master can do anything he sets his mind to. Send for my daughter. I want her to meet the man I have chosen to be her husband. Send for Her Royal Highness Princess Tasman. That 
There is no need to send for me, Father. I have been waiting outside the door to see who you have chosen to be my husband. I was so afraid that he would be old and fat. Aladdin, say hello to your bride-to-be. Aladdin? But how can it be? You look so smart and rich. This is your husband-to-be. I hope you approve of my choice. Oh, indeed, Father. I am delighted. Thank you. Good, good. Now, go to your room. We have much to arrange before your wedding. Now, Genie the Lamp, I need you to build me a palace. A palace more splendid than anybody has ever seen. Built it behind the Sultan's palace, near the fountain. I want it to be done in one week, and I want it to be in pink marble with a white roof. Can it be done in time? Nothing could be easier, Master. I will endeavor to grant your every wish. Thank you. I don't know how you do it, but I'm glad that you're my genie. For now, I can claim Tasman as my wife. Stars come out at night. I talk to the stars in the deep blue sky and ask them if they could tell me why a love like ours took so long when we knew it would happen all along. So put your hand in mine, it's nothing. Together we can't do As long as you want me and I want you You're the reason that the stars come out at night You're the reason that the stars come out at night You're the reason that the stars come out at night Aladdin returns home soon. I get so lonely when he is away, attending to less fortunate villagers. He has been a wonderful master to the people in and around the palace, mistress. He has also been a wonderful husband, so kind and considerate, just as he is to his subjects. And to think, we've been married almost a year now, and I couldn't be happier. <laughs> What is going on outside the palace, Fatima? There is a crowd in the marketplace around the old mall, mistress. He seems to be selling new lamps for old. What a strange thing to be doing. Oh, what a shame we don't have any old lamps. Everything is new here in the palace. Master Aladdin has an old lamp in a cubby hole in his bedroom, mistress. I was going to polish it for him, but he told me to leave it as it wasn't worth bothering with. Oh, that's wonderful! Go and get it, Fatima. I'm sure he will be pleased we swapped it for a brand new one. New lamps for old, new lamps for old. Come and get your shiny new lamps. <sighs> Where is this lamp? Oh, hello, my dear. Yes, old lamp. Hmm, here you go, a shiny new lamp. Another five dinners. New lamps for old. Come and get your new lamps for your old lamps. Oh. oh, hello girls, what have you there? 
See this? Just another worthless old lamp. There you go, a shiny new lamp for you. Enjoy. Where is this lamp? Hello, my dear. This is a teapot. I'm looking for lamps. <laughs> new lamps for old. I need that lamp. Anyone? New lamps for old. Here, old man, I have an old lamp. Give me a nice shiny new one, please. You're in luck. I have but one lamp left. What is this? Oh, this is very old. Almost an antique. Completely worthless. But a bargain is a bargain. Here, take this shiny new lamp. And good luck to you. She's going to need it. Thank you. My master will be so surprised when he sees this nice new lamp. Oh, he'll get a surprise, all right. But it won't be a good one. <laughs> Being an evil sorcerer is not as easy as it seems There's lots of things that crop up to foil your plans and schemes Some people have a problem when I cast a magic spell But as long as I get what I want, I figure what the hell? Sorcery's a mystery and magic plays a part Some folks say it's trickery, but I'm telling you it's art so if I need a potion or a spell to have a win Well how am I being me? Just how's that a sin? And if I wasn't evil, folks would still complain If I were pure and flaming virtuous, it would drive them quite insane I think that I am hiding something that they can't plainly see Okay, I'm evil, but I'm honest my powers just serve me When you're an evil sorcerer You have a single friend And after all, everything's just a means unto an end So I simply zap my wand And say some magic words To get my way night or day Being nice is for the birds Being nice Being nice Being nice is for the birds and if I get any complaints from my terrible, terrible singing, I'll turn you all into cockroaches. <laughs> now, for the real magic. I am the genie of he who holds the lamp. Whatever you wish, I will obey. Hmm, let me see. What do I wish for? Ah, yes. I want you to take Aladdin's palace and everything in it and deliver it to my gardens in Morocco and come back for me. When I found out that Aladdin had escaped from the magic cave, I swore to get back everything that should have been mine and leave him a poor beggar again. Now go. Once, master. I'm the genie of the lamp, not the genie of the ring. I might be out of key, but I'm going to have a sing. To tell of my existence, of how I came to be. Living in an oil lamp that measures five by three. And we're talking centimeters, okay? When I was very young and the world was very new I was trying to decide just what I ought to do I got so confused one day I just went up in smoke Surely I was meant to be no ordinary folk They put me in this lamp, it seemed the strangest thing and Then they introduced me to the genie of the ring and wishes to folks who had a need And when I got the hang of it I knew I could succeed Cause I'm the genie of the lamp It's true I have been dumb And everyone's command When my lamp is rubbed So if you find 
Despite the rewarding day's work, I'm sure those villagers will sleep much sounder now that they have full bellies. God sees him. He has stolen the princess and spirited her away. Where is my daughter, you rogue? In our palace where I left her just this morning. Your palace has disappeared with my daughter in it. I told you he couldn't be trusted. Send for the master of torment. Wait! Wait! Some wicked magic is at work here. Give me... One day to find Princess Tasman and the palace. If I can't do it by then, you could cut my head off, and that is a promise. Shall we give him 24 hours, sire? Not a minute more? Okay, let him go. I'll be waiting in my palace, Aladdin. You'd better not let me down. It has to be Zachariah. He somehow found me. How did he get his hands on the magic lamp? Oh, what am I to do? I know. I'll summon the genie of the ring. Maybe she can tell me what to do. Yes, master. You sent for me? Do you know the genie of the lamp? Indeed I do, a great one. He was my genie. Why is he taking my palace away? He is a slave of whoever has the lamp, master. He must do whatever he is commanded and has great power. Far greater than mine, I fear. Do you know where he has taken my palace? The genie's master has had it taken to Morocco and placed in his garden. Can you take me there, genie? Right away, master. Zachariah has stolen my palace and taken Princess Tasman hostage. I need to find a way to finish him off for good so he can never hurt anyone again. How? What am I to do to help my dear mistress? I can't stand the way he looks at her with such evil in his eyes. Fatima, come here quickly. Shh. Don't let anybody hear you. I need your help to kill the evil sorcerer. Will you help me save the princess? But of course, master. It is my fault he's brought us here. I gave him the lamp, but I didn't know what her magical powers. Just tell me what to do. We must save the princess any way we can. Take these leaves and squeeze the juice into his wine tonight. You will fall into a deep sleep, and I will finish him off with one blow from my dagger. Mistress, mistress, Master Aladdin is in here in the palace. He has come up with a way to rid us of the evil Zachariah. I am to drug his wine, and he will kill him with a blow to his dagger. Shh, Zachariah! He's coming. Okay, I will go along with your plan. You hide in case I need you. My luscious little peach, my pretty little apple blossom, I have come to dine with you and let you know that I intend to be your new husband. My, my husband? But what about Aladdin? What of him? Do not worry your pretty head about him. I am a powerful sorcerer and we'll deal with him later. Slaves, wine, and food. If we are to wed, let us toast our future together. <laughs> Aladdin! Aladdin, come quickly! I think he is dead! 
Leave, my love. I've work yet to do here. Now, where's the lamp? What is your wish, O oh master? Put the palace back where it belongs in Baghdad. In the twinkling of an eye, sire. Your majesty, this is the evil Moor who took Princess Tasman and my palace away by magic. I will have his body burned and the ashes scattered to the four winds. You can never be too careful with sorcerers. Gods, remove this evil man at once. We must celebrate the fact that we are finally rid of the evil Zachariah. I will order banners and silk to decorate the palace. We will invite everybody to a big feast to celebrate our return. Fatima, send for my mother. I feel it's time she lived here with us. Oh, that's wonderful! It will be so great to have a babysitter if we ever need one. And who better than a grandmother? Hi, Ma. It's good to see you looking so well. Let me introduce you to my father-in-law, oh. the Sultan. Oh, how do you do, your majesty? Oh, now, as you are Aladdin's mother, I feel you should call me Hamid. Oh, well, in that case, you may call me Afina. Afina, what a pretty name. Come, let's sit and chat and get to know one another oh. better. <clears throat> Can I help your man? Are you lost? I'm looking for my wife, Athena Wishy-Washy. <laughs> Wait, what is your name? Razin, be lost at sea. I spent many years on an island, and I returned to Baghdad, and they told me I would find her here at the palace. Razin, then you're my father. I'm your son, Aladdin. <laughs> but how can that be? You are a prince. My son's mother was a washerwoman. Now that, Father, is a very long story. But first, let me take you to see Ma. She's going to get quite the shock when she sees you again. Ma, look who it is. Oh, it's Dad. He's finally returned home. Uh, at last, we can be a family again. Well, trust you to turn up now that we're rich and doing well. <laughs> You always did manage to fall on your feet. Athena, my love, aren't you pleased to see me? The only thing that kept me alive was the thought of seeing you once more. <laughs> more likely you, you're down on your luck and need a soft bed and a home. No, 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 that's not true. Let's go somewhere and catch up on everything that's happened to the two of us in the last ten years. Oh, well, this could take quite some time. <laughs> Um, we'll need to find a soft chair and have a chat. Uh, to begin with, where have you been all this time? Well, I was lost at sea and washed up on an island and spent many years. And... Uh, what did you eat? Well, I, had, I, we happened, I was with four sailors and we happened to live off fish and coconuts. Oh. And I'm dying for a Big Mac. No. Oh. Yes, well, I prefer, I prefer Kentucky Fried followed by a large um, chocolate milkshake with double chocolate. Oh, how nice. But wait, there's more. Oh, is there? I believe the burgers are better at Hungry Jack's. Don't you mean burgers? Burgers, that's what you mean. So much has happened, Fatima, I can hardly keep up with it all. I have more good news, Tasman. My father has come home alive and well. He was missing and lost on an island for 10 years, but he's finally home and it's good to have him back. Oh, that's wonderful. Now we can live a long and happy life together. We are so lucky, Aladdin. I do like a happy ending, don't you?
together and bring several worked out. It's been quite an adventure, but there never was a doubt that everything would soon come good and wishes all come true. See in the end how things work out. Someone else can do the washing. That's the first thing on my list. <laughs> now we're all together. All